Hi everyone, it's Coach Favor, and today we're learning how to make a frisbee or a ninja star. So, the materials we will need are two pieces of 8.5 by 11 regular paper, or construction paper that's colored, or even better, origami paper, markers or whatever you want to use to decorate, like crayons or pens, and scissors to cut. Okay, so first things first, you want to start with two square big pieces of paper, but if you don't have square pieces of paper like me, we're going to make square pieces of paper out of regular 8 and a half by 11 paper. So the first thing you're going to do is take the left corner and fold it down to the right side. Just like this. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the upper right corner and fold it down to the left, connecting the corner to the left corner where the original fold was made, so right there. Okay, then we're going to fold the bottom rectangle backwards. Yeah, let me see, mm -hmm. we're going to fold it backwards. Okay, then we're going to unfold everything, and here we have our little piece that we're going to tear off. You can, e you can use scissors, like I'm about to use, and just cut along that crease. Okay, there we go. There's our first square piece of paper. And I want you to repeat that a second time with another square piece of paper. So now we have two square pieces of paper, and we're going to set one of them aside, and with the first one we're going to fold it in half two times. Really try to make sure you get your edges lined up. And make really crisp creases. And we're going to fold it in half again. Okay, so now we're going to cut this into four squares. Using the crease lines that we just made by folding it in half two times. Okay, make sure to pause the video here 
So you can do the same thing with your second piece of paper. Now we have eight little square pieces of paper. And ideally, we're supposed to use construction paper that's colored, but I don't have construction paper, and I know a lot of you don't have construction paper. So I'm just going to make my own designs using a marker or a crayon or even a pencil if you want. And I'm just going to do like some simple designs like stripes. I'm just going to do that on both sides just because um, I'm not sure which side will actually show up on our final product. So I just want to make it safe. Okay, make sure to pause this video and we're going to finish that with the rest of the eight pieces of paper. So now, so now we have eight pieces of paper and we des eight square pieces of paper and with our own designs. I use stripes, you can use dots, you can do it however you want. So we're gonna set seven of them aside and we're gonna fold, um, fold it diagonally. It should already have a full diagonally if you started with the eight and a half by 11. Then we're going to fold it diagonally the other way. Okay. Next, we're going to fold it in half. Okay, and unfold it again. So should look like this at this point. We're going to turn it over and we're going to poke our finger in the center of it. Yes, just like that. We're going to take one corner, bring it to the middle. We're going to do the same thing with an oops. We're going to do the same thing with another corner. Then we're going to take this, the crease line that we made. So this, is, this part's a little tricky. So we're going to take this part, we're going to bring it in. Mm, let's see. Can you pause the video so I can figure it out? Okay, so this is the hardest part. We're gonna take this middle and we're gonna bring it to this side. Then we're gonna let go a little bit and take this corner and kind of fold it in on itself. And we're gonna take this corner, bring it down just like that. So feel free to rewind this video, put it in slow-mo, and watch it as many times as you need. And we're going to do this step again with our other eight pieces of paper. So I'll just do it again with another one, just so you can see how it is, okay? One more time. So we're going to fold it diagonally in one direction. Then we're going to fold it diagonally in the other direction. We're going to fold it in half. Okay. We're going to bring one corner down to that and make sure to align it with the creases. We're going to bring the other corner down. It's really important to make it as aligned as you can with the creases for the next step. Okay, so we're going to uh, bring this part in, so we're going to bring this part in a little bit, then we're going to hold this and bring this down and fold. 
Okay, so repeat that with your other six pieces of paper. Okay, so now we have our eight beautiful blades, and we're going to take our first one, and we're going to find the double flap. So this side doesn't have a double flap, but this side does. And we're going to take a second one, and we're going to use the single flap side. So this has a single flap, and this is the double flap. We're going to take the single flap and put it in the double flap, just like this, okay? And it should match up. Then we're going to take the folds of this one, the first one, and put it inside, fold it inside the double flap here. We're gonna do the same thing with the second triangle, okay? Okay, and then we're gonna fold it inside, just like that. So, to repeat, we had these extra flaps, and we folded them inside the double flap of the yellow. Okay, we're gonna, or the orange. We're gonna take our next one. We're gonna find the single flap side, not the double flap, flap the single, and we're going to put it inside the double, uh, just like this. Mm -hmm. We're going to line it up, line the tops up, we're going to fold the flaps. Okay, we're going to take the next one, the single flap, we're going to put it inside just like that and line up the tops. And fold. Okay, next one, single flap side, put it in, these extra flaps, fold them. Okay, not the double flap, single flap side. Put it in, line it up, and fold. Not the double, the single, put it in, take the extra, and fold. Okay, so now we've got our last one. We're going to take the single side, not the double, which is over here, and we're going to put it inside. Now, um, we're going to fold. Okay, so to complete this, we're going to put our first one we started with, we're going to put it, be careful that it doesn't break, so really gently put it inside. And we're going to fold. So this should be the trickiest fold, but we got it. Okay, and now we have our frisbee where we can play, but we also have... I just want to go over one more time how we can expand and contract it. Every, either way, we just got to go really slow. So you're just going to take like two opposite ends and take it up, um, pull slowly, okay? Slowly. Okay. We just want to pull as much as we can. Okay. So some of my flaps came off and I'm just going to put them back in. Yeah. 
Okay. And to make it a ninja star again, we're just going to push slowly. So take opposite ends and push slowly. And just keep pushing until it's all the way in the middle again. And you have your ninja star. Okay, so now we have our star and you want to since we didn't use construction paper, you just want to be really careful with how you slide it in. So really be careful as you slide it in, and you'll be able to figure it out if you just go slow. And then you can also expand it back into your Frisbee. And it is okay if some of your things break, like mine just did right now. So see my red? My flat broke. So I'm just going to put the flat back inside. And put this flat back inside. Okay. And we have our frisbee again. So you can play frisbee or you can make it into a ninja star. Whatever you want. And you can change it as many times as you want. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. And I will see you next time. Bye.